Hello and welcome all you beautiful, amazing beings of all different things of the stuff is. Thank you for being here. We have a lot of um, interesting stuff to go over today. And we have a bunch of an amazing guest as well. There is a new Grinch movie and a Winnie Pooh movie as well coming out, I guess. So I knew about the Grinch, I think. So anyways, uh, let's begin bringing in our guests. But right before that, I have to play this. Wait a second. Are you a flat earther? And I hope none of us are. But just in case, you might be. Um, hopefully, uh, <clears throat> we change your mind if you are one. But we shall see <laughs> uh, as soon as uh, we get going with this. Once again, it is Drunk News Report. We're going to be going over very interesting news items. Um, I did not make a poll. So everybody, uh, at, at, when I ask... Put in what you want to go over first so have that in your little your your brains is is and be ready to tell us what you would like to uh, talk about first but before we get to that let's go over get our guests into here is what i was meaning to say so our first one is but some people without brains do an awful lot of talking don't they yes i guess you're right yeah. Yeah. Welcome, to my, our brainless. You might not be that much talking today, though, because <clears throat> I'm not You're... feeling that well. Yeah. But I couldn't. I couldn't sl skip a, a slim stream because I've been missing them this week. <laughs> yes. We've been missing Slim. Everybody's been missing Slim. Put a one in the mm -hmm. side chat if you've been missing Slim. <laughs> yes, please, please do. Um, we should be back on kind of schedule. Um, just been trying to uh, deal with uh, the thingy and Real stuff. Try to get to Queen and uh, 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 things all organized. Yeah. So, um, and normally around this time of the year is my hibernation time where I get to like sleep a little bit more because I don't do as many shows. So that's another thing is like I've just been. Kind of like resting my body a little bit more and not doing as much stuff just to like help heal because it's going to be crazy the next couple months. So, um, yeah. Um, really fast before I bring in other people, um, I should be body piercing in Buffalo, New York when I move there as my job. And so you'll see me doing, throwing needles in a bunch of people and putting in jewelry and stuff. So... That should be some fun things for you all to look forward to is me doing regular body piercings, but I will be doing extreme stuff with certain only certain people that I that I know or that um, give me permission and it's not going to be like all the time, but I have some fun things in store to show everybody once okay, so I'm Slim able does, to. Yeah, Slim doing what he, what he likes best, putting stuff in, in people. Yeah, yeah, putting things in and out of people, for sure. That's my... Okay, so, our the next person I want to bring in has not been with us for a hot minute, and I am so glad to have them back on our panel as a guest, and that they're back with us, and I will ask them about their journey as soon as we bring them on. So, here we go with our intro. Let's make it happen, Captain! <laughs> So there is our captain. So how are you doing, sir? Well, hello. I'm good. And I'm definitely not a flat earther because I just crossed the Pacific using the Coriolis effects no, to no. avoid the storms, using no. the radius of the Earth to calculate my distance, and no, doing didn't. a lot of shelling off on the way. So No, 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 you didn't. Earth yes. Is you see the thing behind my character? That's the shape of the Earth. Well, it looks a bit 3D, <laughs> baked by GeoSim, so... Yeah, yeah Earth is not, <laughs> it's not completely flat. It does have bumps and textures, but it's not. It's definitely not a globe. Well, you can actually see it as a yellow globe behind you. But... Shut up! It's, an, it's more like a pear, right? Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. 
Even oh, technically, no. but Mr. Mr. Captain. Hey, Wolfie. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> All right. I have one for. Oh shit! I don't have one for that person. Son of a beach. God damn it. Well, of course I don't have one for that. But um, so, anyways, bringing in our next guest. Here is their intro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. I, my my brain didn't do this right because. I still have to get Mango to help me with this, but but here we go, here we go. Please, got it. Happy to see you. Hey, I've heard that one. I just need Every one. Every shoplifter makes that same joke. This <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go, and um, welcome, Vila. How are you doing? Hi. I'm good, sorry. Green hands. Spawn asked me to dye her hair, so she's now going to have green hair. Is your hair dyed green as well, or was yes. that already been did, or did I miss that recently? Uh, yeah, did I redid it? it like two days ago. Oh, okay, okay. I've not been online, like on camera, for so long, yeah. and you notice straight away that's kind of freaky. Well, yeah, well, I, I'm not. Yeah, I swear I'm not right. stalking you at all. You should. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Damn it, I just called camera myself. I found over the toilet then. <laughs> oh, oh, well, um, uh, that. Oh, she only found the, the one over. Not yeah, the one yeah, the only. It, that was the lizard people that had me install that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> they, they made me watch it. Um, hey, Tiny. Uh, that was nice hair. I will forgive the lizard people. people. Yes. You're a cyborg with no emotions, so I needn't give you forgiveness because you feel me. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the middle of the Pacific, there were no not much hairdressers. So. Yeah, well, I'm sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Okay, so um, bringing in our next two guests, um, I hadn't. I will make one for this next person, but um, I hadn't yet. So, welcome, Widows. How are you doing, sir? Uh, I'm fine, bruh. How about you? Um, I am elated to be do going over the stuff we're going to be talking about in just a second because I found some hilarity for us to all to go over, so it will be fun for all. Uh, of, of that, I have no doubt. Um, you know me, like, I know I haven't been around for a while. You know me, I like to observe when I don't know things. So... <laughs> Uh, I, I enjoy learning. I enjoy learning. Good, um, good. Yes. Hi, Sunshine. How wrinkle. are you doing? I get a new wrinkle in my brain every good. time I watch. How is everybody? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, exactly, Widows. Uh, that's what we try to do. At least make one more wrinkle in, in people's smooth brains to hopefully give them a little of more edumacation, even though, like, you're talking to a tattooed face carny, so like, I mean, I can only give you so much information. So, anyways, Sin and Shine, how are you doing? Good. How is everybody? Meh. Strike yeah, me. Up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One shake, one a little bit uh, jet lag. Yeah. Ah, jet lag sucks. Oof. More. It, did, did you go on a plane or do you take a boat? Are you boat lagged or are you jet lagged? Well, I took a ship from Vietnam to Vancouver and then uh, fly back home uh, from Vancouver to the Netherlands. And then I had to spend the night in a hotel, do the debriefing, and then I took a train and a boat back to the island. Okay. I brought okay. a ferry, so I was, I was just a, a passenger on the last boat. So, so you mean you are hungover from hanging out in the Netherlands? Is that what you were saying? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, I, I, the night in Vancouver, I can't remember that much. But uh, in the Netherlands, I was so tired that because uh, the flight also oh, had five hours delay. Vancouver is very much fun as well. It's almost the same difference, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of partying going on there as well, from what I've come to understand. So yes. Well, cheers. We're very glad to have you back, and um, we hope that we don't break your brain with all the silliness that we have going on for today. Um, I do. Just oh, we're <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to make everybody. Um, let's see. My brain is already broken. 
We're gonna make everybody squirm, laugh, yeah. uh, gag, and pee a little don't, bit. Don't say moist, please. <laughs> moist. Just, oh yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say it. Who uh, said? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Everybody. Everybody, listen. Moist. She's moist. moist. Anyways, <laughs> I so, hate you. So, and or no, here's no, our you warning. Don't. You, sh you should co come watch the TMI show and and hear Amiga not say it. You'll yeah, get yeah. moist. <laughs> uh, remember, folks. Mar our warning mention. is our warning is if you get wet in your seat or your seat gets wet, that is all on you. I'm. That's not on us. You know, we already gave you the warning. We have the splash zone. So if that happens, you know, um, it's on you. Um, so let's Ooh, say hello to the okay. side chat right quick. <laughs> um, hey, Super Ghost. We got the Mark Short. And we got our Little Wolf as well. Arroo! And then... I'm just going to say in it, hello. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, welcome. Uh, hope That's you're all more. You Ugh. definitely are a newcomer, it looks like. Not. Giggity. Giggity, giggity. Um, so if you are uh, uh, lurking in the side chat, go ahead and say hello to us if you would like. And if not, you can just be there in the background and just listen. Um, so now I'm going to ask all of the side chat to um, vote on whether they would like to talk about first... Mole rat liquor, Japanese milk bread, micro penis being jailed, nitrous oxide deer, vagina chips, or shell World War II shell up a gentleman's bum. World War One. Slim, where do you find this shit? I'm honestly curious about vagina chips. Like, wait, wait, wait. I, I, uh, like, I luckily I, I have I, this app. Are the, are the I, chips taste that, that taste like vagina? Mm. <laughs> well, see, I was hoping that you had the vagina okay. and you had the dipping sauce in it, and you dipped the chip in it, and that you ate out the. Never mind. Wouldn't yeah, that, uh, but wouldn't that make why? It, but Slim, wouldn't why? that make it moist? <laughs> Oh, oh, it'll make, make it some kind moist. of um some kind of um wetness. There would definitely be wetness in the area. Yeah. Mary, you you've opened up a can that. of worms. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you now. Uh, yeah, yeah. So any we're at can, chips. Any conceivable so moment that I can slip that word in, oh you best bet I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it, I it, hate it's gonna you get, all. Yes, it's gonna get why? It's gonna get way Nothing worse. Wrong with you. Why? It's gonna get way worse. Oh yeah, especially when you way hear, worse like, before it gets better. When when I when all when you hear about what actually all of this is, like it's way worse than you all think. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have two votes for vagina chips as of right now. It seems like. I mean, I'm just gonna go with two of those <laughs> as of right now. In and it, so, hello. Look, I mean, look, we're just gonna go with vagina chips. Slim, look what in it hello said about vagina chips. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. <coughs> Sorry. For yes, that. yes. There we go. It is the stuff that you scrape off your chair after you've been. Go say it. Boys. We're gonna beat you up. <laughs> Just go. We are in. Okay. See, I swear. I'm not gonna how say it. People hating that word. <laughs> Never used to be such a big thing, and then look, a few people repeated it in media, and everyone yeah, just got yeah. it into their head that yeah, that is a weird word like pineapple pizza. No Dude, one pineapple yeah. on no, pizza pine is normal. about pineapple no, pizza. No, pineapple on pizza is an abomination. Shut Have up, you Dude, had it? Have you had now. pineapple okay, on okay. pizza? Let's let's not go there because we're gonna start of like yes, I. I I have, but yeah, let's not go. It, but, you but can yes, comment yes, on Vila. it if it's good or bad. If you've never had yes. it, then you don't get to comment on it because you don't know. You don't know. Yes. Like, but I swear, no one used to give a shit about pineapple on pizza until a few big people said on YouTube and TV, and now it's like a big divisive thing. It's like, what the fuck? 
I know, I know, I know. So le- anyways, let's blow on. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, vagina microchips. And so here is what it, we were speaking of. <clears throat> All right. I, let's put us there. And then um, this is gonna I'll be begin reading. Contraceptive. It is actually to test something for something. So hold, just just give me a second. Scientist in the try. I'm gonna get my okay. face out of the thingy, my bobber. So hold on, hold on. There we go. There. Now my face isn't covered. So, anyways, we'll go back to here. So, scientists invent the first vagina on a chip. So it is a replicant of the cellular environment of a vagina. So scientists have developed a the world's first vagina on chip, which is a small device that contains living human cells that replicate the cellular environment found inside of the vagina canal. So wow. by adding bacteria to the device, it now can the researchers can now check what the different microbes that affect a healthy vagina is or or not. Cheese and rice. Did you have to? So this is a way they're going to be able to test different drugs and probiotics. Um, without putting them inside of a female. That's good. Yeah, I love that. So now Holy they can shit, just I love do, that. Yeah, so now they can just do lab tests and just have like, what, 50 or 100 of these and they can just like do whatever they need to to test the, the vaginal microbe plays in, uh, in the healthy vagina and or diseased one or the, the prenatal health as well for people um i love um, the prenatal are, yeah exactly like, so this ooh, is that's just beautiful yeah and so this is just going to be a way that you're going to be able to test in a laboratory um on not on a human person so well, it's that's, not, that's, on that's a chip. Not, not necessarily the, the thing that i think is, is best about it <clears> because <throat> they will not test it on a human they'll first test it on an, on an animal so this is a really big step Towards sure. getting mm-hmm. rid yes. of most sure. animal testing, and uh, I, I'm, I'm basically against it. But I also realized we need it. Yeah, there, there's make, a, make there's sure different... that our our um, medicine are safe and stuff. We need it. There's definitely but when when, when uh, it comes uh, to uh, cosmetics, I say fuck it, test it on humans. If you want want makeup, then test it on yourself. You know. Sure, sure, well, sure. And not animal animal testing yeah. for makeup isn't that common anymore. No, not no, just because people have a moral stance to it. Most of the chemicals that we use for all of these products have already been tested. Yeah. yeah. They've already been tested yeah. and we already know the safe amounts. They don't need to test these chemicals individually anymore. And mm, actually, I slightly disagree Ugh. because one of the ways that they do to replace animal testing is using the foreskins of circumcised babies and i would say that's far more cruel because those babies are tied down to a board and not given any sedative or painkiller and have a knife taken into their poor little dick and and babies die from it and it causes men penile health issues for the rest of their life and the other thing without without uh, yeah, they don't. Put, yeah, they don't. Like yeah, no, nothing. Yeah, they, totally. they give them sugar water because. And, and this, this is a neck pisses me off. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get a bit fucking like ahead, liberal ahead, on right. this, but the fucking right wing have this bullshit of we're not gonna do abortions because babe, like fetuses feel pain. They feel pain, but apparently they don't believe that birth male babies can feel pain to have the circumcision when they go into shock but fetuses yeah. can feel pain and then yeah, that, yeah. and then okay. and then they're like oh they're trying to like uh, change your children's um gender before they're 18 but it's okay to circumcise which that doesn't make any sense and then the last thing that's happening still is priests are still sucking the blood off of the little baby's penises. They're still being charged for and they're spreading what? disease. Kids are getting oh, like in syphilis. The face, and when the rabbi circumcises yeah, the, the boy uh, yes. at his brisk. Brisk, yeah. Uh, the rabbi the leftover blood. The blood out of the tip of the penis. 
It yeah. is now well, illegal yeah. in New York, I believe, after a massive case of one rabbi sorry, giving yeah, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. babies herpes. You're, 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 yeah, it was herpes, and it was herpes. And you're right, Harry. You're right, Harry. It's, it's, it's the moles. It's the moles. It's the moles. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. right. It's, it's, and but yeah, it doesn't you're matter. Right in it, hello. They, they, they don't give a shit about pro-life. They're pro-birth. They're pro-forced birth. They're, well, they're, no, they're, they're, what they are, they're 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 pro controlling everybody else's life because their life sucks so bad, and that's the major exactly. thing. Is, you know, they're losing, they're losers. About their tax, precious tax dollars, yeah. going on the poor people, and oh, why we're we having all these support systems, and it's like, well, if you just let the woman scramble that egg, we wouldn't have this problem, would we, darling? And not just that, but oh. if you care so much about life, why are you letting homeless kids die in the streets? Exactly. Because you they, don't want to give it your tax money. No, your life. tax money should go to make sure kids don't fucking die in the street. That's why I pay my taxes besides the oh. roads. and But part of it is I don't want kids dying in the street because they're homeless. Same. Like, give yeah. them anything. I'll tax me fucking 20, 30, Dude, fucking 50, 100 more I'll dollars a year. I don't care. Back. Yeah, yeah, the funny part sure. is, my God. Go, go, go ahead, Tiny. The funny part is that the people that are pro-life are also pro-guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you yeah, if you no, step but, on my property, I'll kill you in a second. And uh, it's like, well, you, that's you, you not pro-life, bro. The problem is they want all those babies to be born because if you got guns, you need targets. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, Sorry. they want to kill. Them. They, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is part of that is part of it, though. Literally. <laughs> Um, uh, so let's say hello to more of the side chat. We got an ox. Hey, ox. Uh, we have uh, Harry uh, and then a demon. So uh, hello um, you. If there's if there's anybody else who um, it, it just come in, say hello to us and we'll say hi to you. Um, hello, so, everybody. So um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play this video while I step away to get another beer so that I can keep the running theme going, which is the drunk news report, because it's not yes. fun unless I'm drunk. I mean, that's how this goes, right? <laughs> Dude, I'm sauced right now, so. Good, I I hope everybody who <laughs> is, is able to is, and if uh, you aren't yet and you can, go for it, because we're getting to way more idiocracies. It's gonna be hilarious in just a minute so uh here is a better explanation of what this thingy mabobber does and why it's so healthy for women to not use their own bodies as a test tube and now we have these little things as testing places to not be in the human body and or in animals um hey clockwork so here we blow Do it for me? No. Okay. Oh, I better turn off my camera. That's probably a good idea. Hold on. The video is not showing for, for us. No, I think you have to click picture in picture first. Yeah, there it is. Or, or open it up. Yeah. Yeah. able to read it or is it too small in everybody's screen no it's big enough okay okay for me the so, size was not the problem yeah it is kind of small it was going too fast but it doesn't matter so anyways uh, so 
like we're just going to kind of go over exactly probably what they showed in the thing is just, uh, you know, you can test uh, uh, sex hormones as an estradiol, um, a form of estrogen um, in vitro, you know, so in the womb. Um, you also can check out this bacteria. I'm not even going to try to say that. Um, and then the 70% of healthy uh, vaginas microbiomes, um, you know, um, bacillus. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. I yeah. think that lactobacillus. Isn't that just like thrush or something? It's the lactic acid in the. Oh, it's uh, the lactic acid in the body. I, that is way the too bacteria small. successfully I, produces the lactic acid in the an asshole glasses. This is way too small. Wow. Slime, can you zoom it in a bit? <laughs> what? Is that better? Is. That's... No. Having run experiments with good bacteria. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Um, Moist. The, so what we can do is we can go over the good Shut bacteria, up. we can go over the bad bacteria in the vagina, and we're going over these all thingy mabobbers that Little they're able to do. Fact, this chip was created specifically for Shani for Christ because the scientists were worried about the effect that her death would have on the water table of the whole of America because of how son stanky of her vag is. Uh, son of a beach. Okay, so <laughs> dude, that, that is like a Geneva After convention. Uh, uh, <laughs> it, it's because they found out that her vagina is a biohazard, um, and they wanted to see if they could use it as a bioweapon. Yeah, huh. so stinky. Um, yeah, never mind. So but what that, we're gonna that's do why that, her chip also has warning lights on it. it. Oh yeah, no, and it has a backup that's beeper sad. as well. So whenever it opens, it's like beep. Just saying, ladies, wash your ass, wash your crack. Or there's a fog the man horn. will <laughs> go down. There's a foghorn like, every time she opens up. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> no. God. What the no. fuck? <laughs> okay, anyways. Bad so, trombo. Right, man. <laughs> okay, so. Slim, know, that was even a little rush for, like, harsh for you, bro. I know. Huh? <laughs> okay, so really quick before we get to the next subject, and uh, everybody in the side chat, put in what you want to talk about next. Um, so this also is a thing for sexually transmitted diseases as well. So um, uh, chlamydia and gonorrhea. Um, so they can also like check out the uh, infertility by triggering a harmful inflammation. Um, and other things like that that can be developed during pregnancy. Why is there so, a fruit, a fruit and cheese spread? That's just a fruit. I, I, I can't. <laughs> so this is a commercial that is going on below, but it is hilarious that it totally spread, has. Right? Yeah, and look at that right there. There you go. That's right. perfect for me. Oh, that's made out of vagina. Plant based meat is impossible like because this? meat is made out of animals. So plant made, made out of meat vagina meat. Impossible. Look, it's it's vagina meat. Okay. Anyways, all right, all right, all right. We're, we're done. Do you like we're cheese and fruit with, when you talk about weird subjects? I know I do. Wait, is it moist? <laughs> I, oh, hey, I'm, oh, she I've said it. <laughs> is it moist? She said moist. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it can be. Sure it can be. See, you're getting used to the word. You're getting used to the word. Well done. Is it well done. Wet? Giggity. Is it moist? Moist. Is it? Turgid. Is it tumescent? <laughs> wait, wait, say that she's one just trying more to time. Use, uh, she's Tumescent. just trying to use other words other than moist. Tumescent, moist. A tumescent. Okay, I, I, okay I, I like that word. Tumescent, yes. Okay, so what would everybody like to go over next out of all the subjects? I know what Brainless wants to go over, only because it involves the butt. <laughs> well, it, 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 when I heard blue. that, I, I really had the, a... Uh, anything the involving fuck, the butt, uh, he, he wants to. That's what no, I know, no, exactly. No, no, because they all seem, mm, seem quite interesting. Glaze. Glazed. Yeah, the, oh, one, the, 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 the <laughs> that, that, was, that was a really... Uh, what the 
fuck thing that I <laughs> just got, got that reaction from me. Shiny Moist. Okay, Jesus. okay. Can't hear me. Well, Do if you kiss. want to put a shell up your bum, you gotta make sure oh my God. that your bum is moist. Well, She's in rice. Well, okay, well. Uh, Plumescent. Turgid. Frothing Turgid. from the. <laughs> yep. We're, defi Tur we're definitely going. We're definitely going over the shell up the bum. So, hospital evacuated after a oh, man turns oh. up with a World War One shell up his arse. An eighty, an eighty-year-old man oh. in France showed up to a hospital with a shell up his bum from World War One. The management called for an evacuation, according to the report of the French news via the Va Varmatin. I don't know. I'm probably, I, that was probably a shite, but it doesn't matter. The incident was an older man occur, uh, occurred on Saturday during the evening of, I'm going to say St. Muse, but it's probably wrong. Anyways, oh, the emergency monsieur. room. Oh, monsieur? Okay. I know it's a uh, Martin. Martin. Yeah. From Martin? Okay. So, um, uh, there we go. So, uh, uh, according to the report, the whatever, yeah, okay. So, an apple or a mango or even a can of shaving foam, we are used to finding unusual objects inserted where they shouldn't be. But a shell? Never. One of the hospital staff members told the outlet. <laughs> First, the management at the hotel launched a partial evacuation of the hospital, particularly at the pe pediatric part. Well, of course, oh, okay. No. Receiving help Wait, from the firefighters and security. Was it a, what was he doing in pediatrics with something was, up his bum? <laughs> was it a bullet no, uh, yeah. or was it an explosive? <laughs> so, Fucking so diddlers. Was oh, it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me just see if they actually show. No, this is something else. No, Hold on. No. I don't know if we have any type of photo and or anything uh, else to give yeah. us any proofs of I, it as of right there's now. There's a photo of the shell on the internet. Yeah, but I don't know if it's just a stock photo. Oh no, they're actually holding it in a yeah. what's it called? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Let me try to find that. Do you have that? If you have uh, that photo, um, will you post it in the private chat so that I can share it? I'm looking for it now. Okay. Yeah, because that's right. There, there was a photo of it. She's in rice. Okay. So, anyways, I want to get rid of that, but it doesn't matter. So, the <laughs> gynecology and maternity units still operated as usual for the most part. Uh, it reported. Um, it. It took a few hours, and the patient was sent to another hospital because of the bomb alert. Her oh, other other patients new, new, in the vagina. New new patients uh, were oh. sent to other hospitals. Sorry. It's in the chat, yes. Sweet coupon codes found in the so, vagina. Jimmy Hoffa. That's what so he found. Was, he, he Jimmy was, Hoffa yeah, totally. is in the vagina. <laughs> he, geez. So he said he was a um, collector of of the First World War stuff, and that's why yeah. he had it. And he slipped um, and fell on it, of course. Yeah, uh, of course. He's playing um, with it in the tub and sat on it. The, and we have saying... a Karen with the hair coming out the ball cap. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. So so <laughs> the shell was five or six centimeters in diameter and 20 centimeters long and it was removed from the elderly man's abdomen through abdominal surgery he said to be in good health so yeah all right, all right let's go ahead and look at what they retrieved from this gentleman because i did see a photo earlier yeah, I put it yeah. son of a son of a beach do you know Wait, yeah. was it the man that shoved things in his to feel the outcoming? Holy fuck! Good. I, I don't him. know, but that is what they pulled out of his. What is that? Dumb. A shell. That's a World War One shell. 
that's an a artillery cannon shell. or that's an yeah, artillery, yeah, artil- shell. yeah, yeah, there we go. Artillery a shell. Pan- he artil- slipped in the shower. A life artillery shell. Please, bro. Actually, that- so yes. Well, how, how, I guess, how, how I guess tired of life are you if you put a life artillery shell up your ass? Well, well make sure I mean, you I do guess, not sit on I anything sharp, would... then. I Fuck guess you would have come around dark the side. Hey. <laughs> the well, wild if you would have kicked him in the ass. Yeah, not... and it was uh, a real big penetration, but... That, that, well, that, 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 that would blow his mind. What if he wasn't <laughs> oh, that's like, well. What if he genuinely did fall? It, like, come on, guy, it's an eighty-eight-year-old man. Yeah, like, but you can't get that that far up there without. I mean, you know, severe force. Know. Like, can the, can you imagine yeah. that momentum? Jesus, no, I don't uh, want to. Vila, no. um, I no, heard a story well, from a, from a ninety-year-old because... ninety-year-old guy in. Uh, a mother in the place in the Netherlands who lost actually his wedding ring in a hawker's ass. I, I, yep. Your friend did? No, it was not a friend, but uh, okay. it was I heard a, uh, a, a company I worked for. Okay. A, a company I worked for also had a, a harbor tuck uh, area and uh, they uh, was actually were, uh, stationary. It's just uh, across that uh, brothel where it happened, so <laughs> it was well Jeez. known there. <laughs> I, 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 I've uh, heard stories. The Barmata article said it was demilitarized. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, yeah, but I, not... I probably. I'm. I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, you would not be allowed to have it. Probably not even in America. And not not just that, but you know, when the AK forty seven rounds don't work anymore, what else? You got to go to the cannon rounds. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, what you know? I mean, especially if that's your kink, sh- shoving live ammo. I up love your butt. Yeah. I mean, you my... Eat your heart out. We, 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 you can actually actually <laughs> hear. Something else was going to explode in that of us. Mm-hmm. You can actually see in the picture that they actually uh, took the exploding cap out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, that's what they that's what but, they said in another article I was reading about that. Yeah. Uh, Slim, well, go oh ahead. Just just one thing. You're not beating that thing. You beat my, you probably mm-hmm. beat all the guys on here, but you're not beating that thing. Yeah, no, uh, that was definitely <laughs> larger than I could ever imagine to be. So, um it's what right. in me. For yeah. fuck's sake, um, man. That's why I, I invite I, a friend I, over. I guess, but... Anyways, <laughs> Let's get into the uh, LA's orgasmic $18 Japanese milk bread, which sells out in seconds every day. What's so special about it? I, that's that's why we have to go over this because I have no idea and it doesn't make any sense to me. Except... Not many places sell milk bread, and idiot weeboos will go and spend any any amount of money on anything if you say it's Japanese. Ooh, if it's anime, ooh, ooh. And, and supposedly <laughs> it's at orgasmic somehow. So let's get well, into it, that. Hey, and who knows? Maybe it is fucking delicious. I don't know. You well, know? maybe they are just sprinkled the opium in it, like that noodle place that was orgasmic did. <laughs> well, that's yeah, very, I think they're very just very spring- expensive. Uh, uh, cat shit coffee is actually very, very good. Yeah, yeah, the 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 the, yeah. Fer- the cat, yeah, whatever that's called, that cat. Good point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so Dude, um, that cat shit coffee is delicious. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I had it once. It's really, really good. I mean, one. if they're gonna you charge mean the that cat much. one, or do you mean the weasel one? No, the no, cat. no, the cats, the Indonesian yeah. coffee. Yeah, cats that yeah. Uh, copy, I've copy, look up. I've never heard of yeah. that. I've only uh, heard of the weasel it, one, so I didn't and think there's cats goat. actually ate it. Copy, lo- there's goat copy one, look up. The well. most expensive coffee in the world. Copy yeah. Yeah. What, what, cat, what it's, cat is it? It's a cat-like animal. It's not. It's yeah. Not like your yeah, that's what I was. Cat. That's what I was ready to say. Well, um, could can be, somebody? Could be the same, can, ah, Civic Coffee. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 There we say, go. I, I just had this image of a house cat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, right? I, I didn't no, no. think cats liked 
Thank coffee. You. How did they manage to get a cat to eat that <sighs> shit? And then I've just got an image of, do you know Family uh, American Dad, right? The A-P-P. scene where Roger's hooked up to the feeding machine to make the like really good mayonnaise, but cats hooked up to that with like coffee beans. Well, see, I thought you, I thought you just like, I thought you just like feed a bunch of um, feral um, street uh, alley cats in, and you just run around after them, picking up their shit, making coffee out of it. That's just what I like imagine. You strap on a nappy. Now, you, now you should, uh, sound like yeah, cheese yeah, and yeah. chung, having that uh, smoked that. Oh dog yeah, shit. when the when his um, Doberman or whatever it was ate it, and, yeah. then, uh, <laughs> and then he's like, "What kind of weed is this?" He's like, "Doberman." He's like, "Why is it called that?" Because my dog ate it, and I ran around for a week to fucking, you know, yeah, <laughs> get <Anyways>. it back. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so here is the reviews. Los Angeles foodies have proclaimed that whatever that lady's name is. Um, Shaka Pan, Spectacular, Sublime, or even Gastric... Sorry. A Gastronomic Orgasm. While others say that the efforts it took to obtain the loaf verged on the absurd. It's like trying to get a really in-demand concert ticket. Said this lady. <clears throat> I'm guessing it's a lady, and if it's a man, I'm sorry. I'm not I, I'm not trying to... Whatever. It's this a person. Man at this yeah just sure, yeah that's what i said yeah, yeah there we go down. so the yeah. co-owner of uh that place um uh the first Isn't u.s that? outpost of you a japanese a bread company uh show co ginza nikashikawa shokopan i'm sure i butchered the fuck out of that i'm sorry like everybody. I'm, chocolate. Tr- I'm trying shokopan. So, so it was gone in, in yeah. one minute so the Shoko Pan countries don't have the yeah. best history of teaching us non-English languages. They have an even worse history of teaching Shoko us Pan. our own goddamn language. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, oh, sorry. He- hello, in in it. Uh, hello, um, welcome. I'm glad that you're here um, from Lizard Stream. So welcome. Um, that's so my husband. Shoko- Shoko- Oh, that is oh, okay. 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 I'm, yeah, I, that's I my husband sh- right okay, there. I wasn't and sure. Hello is oh, okay. No. Okay. 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 I'm sorry oh. to hear that. Yeah, hello. <laughs> my condolences. <laughs> hello, in it. Hello. Well, oh, can, can, welcome, can you bro. throw in a couple of moist here and there for <gasps> the coming weeks? Mm. Just, 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 just <laughs> I'm sure he is going to be throwing in a few moist, brainless. His missus Ooh, is gorgeous. Yes, he is. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But okay, so, it, um, I mean, so. So Shoku Pan, um, famed for its dense yet fluffy texture, is a familiar comfort food in Japan. But its international popularity has surged in recent years, spawning new bakeries as well as restaurants serving picture-perfect Shoku Pan sandwiches across the U.S. Um, let's see see if there's anything more about it other than it's an $18 loaf of bread. Um, twinkle, twinkle, you can... There's some places that... Well, it's, um, it's, from they they say sandwiches, so that... I'm, I'm actually thinking that's 80 bucks per sandwich. No, it's for Not just the loaf. loaf. No, just the per loaf. Okay. Yeah, they're selling $18 loafs, and if you go to the wrong place, it can cost $24. Oh, um... No, that's something else. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, 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 let me not jump ahead. Uh, let's see. Yeah, eight, so it's eighteen dollars for just the bread. Um, some people um, drive as far as San Francisco to San Diego to uh, get it. Um, scalpers uh, are selling uh, loaves. Shang-Chi? Scalpers are selling loaves for twenty-two to thirty-three dollars. Um. I really want to know a little bit more about. Well, it looked like she it. didn't understand why it was so expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at that picture. Um, so the... She's actually. Why are the people giving money for this? <laughs> so it. it, it, it uh, this is redonkulous. The flour is made in Canada, or from Canada wheat, and is milled in Japan. And then imported to North America, wow. where and the, the water, water is alkaline. alkaline. 
and then they have to do guidance things to make it in something and then experts bake it in Japan again. So then it goes back to Japan. They produce、oh、just 200 loaves a day. And it's nestled in its own s t o m a c h bag. The carbon is, footprint、uh, on one of those of, is disgusting. Yeah, like, yeah that's what I wanted to say. No, like, and what, okay, it's not shit, it's gone. Canadian wheat that can be grown in Amer- in Japan, I'm not sure.、Yeah. But then it's also not just the、um, the、uh, breed, the like species of wheat, but also what soil it's in the region, because it does take on different flavors because of the、yeah. minerals in the ground. So, okay, let's say Canada, right? Then it's imported to, exported to Japan. Japan, mill it. Why does it have to be milled there? What special thing there? I、But、think、milled. that has to do with the same, same thing. Like, we've, we've actually got a similar thing here. Certain、um, beef products, if they're butchered in Italy, it's a certain kind of、yep. uh, beef. So, yep. That's, the cows that's a grow here,、different. got transported there, slaughtered there, imported back. So it gets a certain name.、Uh, yeah. Ah, okay.、So、Otherwise, it's probably not allowed to have that name. Okay, okay. And, Alkaline、uh, you... water makes the dough rise slower, which is. They could just. They could, okay. They could, they could, that import, makes sense. If, I can what, understand yeah, different, different yeah, yeah, wheats and everything,、yeah. but like they're importing and exporting and like having to have like special video calls with people to show you how to make the bread. You know what it sounds like to yeah, me? It sounds like a money laundering thing or like a, like、no. a mafia thing or something. But it's not it, it, obviously. But to me, it sounds never, like sus. Go ahead. You can't understand it. I, I worked for a year on a river and、uh, I actually sailed with potatoes to one port and actually sailed with potatoes back.、Uh, exactly the same kind of potatoes, only from a d- different field back to the other port. And. I, we didn't understand, but and and also yeah, with yeah. butter, we took butter from Scotland to to um, South, um, North America,、uh, Africa, and from North Africa we took butter back to、uh, Scotland. So oh wow, that's amazing. So、yeah. unfortunately, there are. I'm not saying it was like this with those potatoes, but. There are things that happen like that with olives and especially with mica, right? Like、mm-hmm. the stuff that normally, like the nice glittery stuff in your eyeshadows, m a k e from. Even when those、it's、ones are like、yep. crystals, it's yep, I understand. Yep, it's yeah, it's the little crystals that are in the、yeah. makeup. Yep. The thing is, like, so what happens is they have one hub that says, Yeah, this one is ethical. We can see there's no child labor. There are no slaves there because that happens. People get kidnapped and taken to these places. Yeah. yeah.、Um, and it's fine. What really happens is they don't actually check how that, what, that was mined there. They're told it's mined there. They look at the mine and say, okay, the people here are okay. What's happened is there's a mine 40 miles away that has all the. People there that are slaves, that are children, all this stuff, mining it, and it's transported from A to B, logged on B's mine, and then shipped out as if it's okay. Like, if you look up things like, and I, this was hilarious when I first heard it the olive oil mafia. There's a fucking olive oil mafia. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. There yeah. Is. yeah, there is. There really is. And, Olive oil、uh, is money. Oh, God, yeah. I, I, Italy, when I first heard that, like, it, it sounds like it's something racist when you first hear it. I'm like, it, it, and then I actually watched it.、Um, the Illuminati does a great video、yeah. on the Olive oil mafia. That's how I first found out about it. And then、there's、she also, also did something on the mica、uh, mining. And there's also a、um, maple syrup mafia as well in Canada. It, so that's another fun、yeah. thing to look up if you want to get into May I ask、hole. what rat liquor is? So that's what we're going to get into right now. Please. So, tell federal, me. 
a federal like agent. Me. <laughs> yeah, a federal a federal agency issues a bizarre warning to stop people from drinking booze made of dead mole rats. Oh, sweetie, that's not what they meant when they said, uh, "Lick my small hairy neck." Never mind. Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> to mole. Oh, of course, it must be Russian. So, yeah. I'm gonna totally butcher the crap out of this. Well, we but... need to promote oh, and, um, that. I'm, we I'm not surprised. Sorry. I, I don't want to sound racist, but I'm not Rush. surprised it's Russian. Rush. Yeah, well, that. I said earlier, I dyed Spawn's hair and it's kind of stained my hand. Yeah. I haven't got any yeah. idea. Yeah. 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 Vila, just, just give in that you're uh, the Grinch uh, this year uh, with Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so um, the Russian federal agency responsible for the supervision of consum consumer rights protection and human well-being. <clears throat> uh, key functions of the agency includes blah, 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 yakety, schmackety. But they had to come out and tell people on Telegram to, we could stay away from this topic. Uh, uh, what could With be dangerous? Ew. Drink? Um, it must be remembered that moles are very often infected with worms. The agency continued. This happens when eating insects Some uh, in some areas. 70 to 80% of mole populations can be infected with these parasites. So the alcohol medium does not destroy the pathogens um, of the zooanthromorphic and... Uh, I'm going to try to say this, but I'm totally going to butcher it. And the hemet... Menthic, hemimythic diseases. Uh, eating hemimetic. projects like. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. I think uh, it's eating, hem Yeah. Mm. Uh, eating products like mole worms can be deadly or uh, even cause disability. So these people are drinking something that may have worms in them. So they're asking people in Russia, please don't drink the. <laughs> And that's why I but said I'm, I'm not like, surprised this who, Russian. Who, who, who gets the idea, like, getting an animal like that and making a drink out of it? So, there are all kinds of um, um, wives' tales and or holistic remedies, like snake wine and other things like that. There's mice wine, there's all kinds yeah. of wine, there, you know, there's there's different alcohols, and they're made for virality all kinds of things so yep. i don't know yep. i haven't figured right. I, I i was i was well, trying to look into it further to see if there was a reason why they were drinking it and i couldn't find that yet and once well. i do or if anybody does w w let us know but i i think it's going to be like a virility thing or uh it's mm. like a russian man thing to do while y'all are I, I um, think out it's, ice fishing or something you know what i'm saying i, I think it's much simpler because uh i see uh, thing no no i see i mean much simpler I've seen Russians drink uh, uh, just uh, dangerous toxic chemicals mixed on board of ships because uh, the ships were dry and they were not allowed yeah. to if actually drink any boat, alcohol. You have to it's make simply you... get weird, and that's mm -hmm. all. I've been there, done that, and so oh, yeah. So no, like... they, they make alcohol out of potatoes. Not just oh, that. Remember, yeah, there's the Russians war going on anything. with Ukraine. There's embargoes on trade and everything. Some of these people are probably soldiers out in the wild trying to make their own booze because they've not got access to any. You live out in the wilderness yeah. and you can't get anything. Yeah. You're, you're stuck there because there's war all around you. Like, so I think this might also be a desperation sure, thing. Sure, sure. I, 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 I would believe that. Like, once again, I said... Um, I, I'm going to do a little bit more research into it, and I'm sure that we have other people will. And when we find out kind of why yeah. maybe people were drinking it, we'll get into that. But I thought that article was going to delve into it a little bit more. But okay, Harry Warp, you think you found the answer? What what's the answer? Moist. Nice burp. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, pickles. The answer is uh, yes uh, and pickles. Yes pickles. and moist. Butter. Butter. Butter, butter. <laughs> um, so, pickles, 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 pickles. Um, so, 
Stop uh, it. <laughs> they, they naked mole rats can <laughs> auto ferment in an oxygen oxygen free environment for some reason. Oh, I was watching. I am. A we're for, not the vanilla from a Canadian beaver. I'm not gonna claim that yet until we do, but may, maybe yeah, that's a thing. I don't are know. naked mole rats even indigenous to uh, Russia? Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure, but yeah, they can survive like 18 minutes without oxygen when they're running through those holes and stuff because of carbon stuff. But I Ned didn't know that. But whatever. Um, um, there is a thingy. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, a link. Oh, check. Oh, this is just about how they can survive um, 18 yeah. minutes without oxygen. But I still, I, I believe you. And once again, we'll, we'll go over that a little bit more. We're not trying to be very, very serious here tonight. We're just trying to be silly and stupid. And so uh, the, the, the next thing, oh, we're definitely going over this next. Duh. We're going over the micro penis last. We're going to go over... I thought Michael didn't like his penis. Her penis, I mean. Mm. Or is no, it not no, about she does, she, she does not. <laughs> I trust no, it, 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 it is not. So anyways, <clears throat> deer are getting high on nitrous oxide and dancing around like nobody's watching. And there is a video. And how this is happening is there are large uh, piles of decomposing leaves that they will release a considerable amount of nitrous oxide or laughing gas. Cheese and rice, of course, it took me out wherever I was. That's fun how they like changed up whatever. So. So the deer are getting high on, on slappy gas from these leaves uh, decomposing in people's yards. Let me see where the video is. There should be video here somewhere. I, th I think this is it. So it's not just dolphins that do that. We're going to go ahead and... Okay, just I uh, found this. It says... Um... The Daily Beast report, and uh, Daily Beast, so bear in mind, that the mole rat booze debate actually stemmed from a meme that conveyed yep. Russian social media users the feeling about the outgoing year. Yeah. It's uh, a... Okay. Um, um, like what happened with a 80s uh, punk band from the Germany that uh, was singing about uh, sex with a dog. It was also a joke song and it actually also went completely the wrong way. And this is probably a meme that actually went the wrong way according to what I can find. Yeah. Yeah. Can okay. pee. Um, so it makes your hair super soft. <laughs> so um, one of the next things we're going to be going over um, in the future is we're going to be going over um, TikTok trends that are deadly. I found oh, five of them yeah. that, well, that people have actually been killed from trying to do. So we're going to go over TikTok memes that you should not try at home. Uh, speaking well, of that devil. So that will be happening soon. Um, well, that's yeah. interesting. One Probably, of them is we'll, do not we'll, drink we'll, we'll, naked mole, uh, mole red drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh That's my god! Only one of them. Um. <laughs> Let, let's let's start that trend. Let's see how many. Oh, well, how many actually, Russian it's starting in Russia as that trend. It's already yeah, no, but like, one. Like what happened so anyways, was an American agent, and um, sorry, a Russian agency saw people in a discussion board talking about like the best alcoholic drinks, and. There was the meme posted about everyone's feelings about the outgoing year, like rush, uh, mole alcohol, like mole vodka, blah, blah, blah. And instead of getting the meme, the agency were like, oh no, we're going to look into that. We talk to people and it's not good. Don't do it. I don't think you can even make vodka out of a mole. 
Sure. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, once again, like, once again, I like the main. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, I think it's a. You think it's a, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm glad we at least uh, got there with it. Um, if we find anything else, we'll we'll talk about it again. Yeah. We were just doing it to just laugh at it because, like, I honestly what didn't think that very many people were actually drinking this I, in Russia. Just oh, uh, somehow I, there's an trust agency me. that had to say it. <laughs> there must be a few, a lot of Russians that actually saw the meme and actually tried it. <laughs> yeah, there, like I said, like I said, there there had to have been a handful of people if, if a, a, an agency had to say something, but um. I get. I, I, I let's whatever. Uh, I if we think it was a dream, then that makes sense where they got that from, which is there scary are because people, people will just do anything. There are people that actually believe the Earth is flat because of a meme. Come on, I know that's, it's that's freaking true. insane. <laughs> like, like, the, like all these people on TikTok are using like memes to prove it, and it's like, but do you know how to do? Science, math that you don't you can read three le three words good for you homie anyways so this is what it happens when a deer is having fun on nitrous oxide that is being made naturally um in somebody's yard from a pile of leaves hmm. so i have it sped up a little bit just because we don't it's six minutes of it so it is going over sniffing it you know sniff sniffing oh yeah getting fucked getting high and dancing around yeah, I understand. and then going back oh that's cute and then yeah. it'll leave what's that little deer yeah. doing and then that's adorable it's, it's just getting fun. high and then it's like, then like his my homie's tongue it's like my previous cat actually got uh drunk by eating too much raisins and actually started to uh Permanent in her stomach and she got drunk. Oh my goodness, your cat got drunk from eating raisins? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um. That's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and, 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 ju and just like. Oh, that's great. Starts. Um, just like um, Harry was saying about the moose that got drunk and ended up in a tree. If you've not seen that, click on that link and look it up um there's moose Did you see the, well, the moose got stuck in the tree there's a there's a bear that couldn't like leave from eating these apples there's deer there's eating and there's raccoons a and a, a bunch of pint pumpkin the moose thought he, he wasn't yeah yeah and there's the, there's the there's the pumpkin drunk squirrels and other animals so there's <laughs> so many times that in nature it happens there is the bonobo apes or monkeys or something like that i don't know but bonobo? every certain time of year yeah they're a bonobo i don't remember exactly but they anyways. love sitting in hot springs don't they that's the one that you're talking about the the monkeys no no no, hot no 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 um beef. that's the antarctic somethings is this is but the bonobos they know that during one time of the year a certain fruit falls out of this tree and it sits yes. long enough to ferment yep. and they'll go there all like, like Blah. 2000, 2000 of them. <laughs> yeah. They just go to this little area and they all eat it and they have orgies and they get drunk. They pass out, they wake up, they eat more of it and they have yep. orgies and, and they get last drunk like two and weeks or something like that. So yeah. Oh, but the, um, there are more animals that actually toxic, uh, um, uh, eat toxic birds. things just to get, uh, Hi, or Hi. whatever for a while. Yeah, there's birds yeah. that do it. From what I've come to understand, squirrels, um, moose. I mean, I mean, almost uh, every dolphins, animal that dolphins pass puffer fish around. Uh, yeah. Dolphins do it, right? That yeah, yeah. They they Wait, they, they they poke yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They they they, they catch uh, puffer fish and they pass so, them around. The, yes. Oh yeah, my yeah, god, yeah, the yes. puffer fish, the one that go. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. what they do is they like get it in their beak for just a second and they get it to like puff up and they get it to like spray the stuff and then they push it out of their mouth and the next one grabs it and they get it to keep like putting out its poison or something wow. like that and they play That's with it so... for like a little bit. Uh, the the drunk, drunk like drunk 
and all kinds of animals we found to just like they said uh 20 years ago maybe 30 now that all animals are monogamous and that now we found out that like no there's like no monogamous animals in the fuck <laughs> they're all uh, allowed to get fucked up everybody is <laughs> monog non monogamous they, they stay, they stay <laughs> with the same uh partner that doesn't mean they don't fuck it around yeah, you're right. Right. Exactly. in totally. the sense of we are right in when we are with one partner we are with one partner that like and when that partner goes they find another partner like the ones that we thought were monogamous were monogamous until their love died and then they found another partner other ones just many. fuck out and there's no if one dies i can yeah, they, they, they have one in the chamber they just fuck whoever they want and like some women will fuck eight men because like best chance of getting pregnant is yeah. best, like whatever like no, oh, but, no i will get can actually get pregnant from multiple dead. cats uh Stop no it. cats at the same time <laughs> <laughs> So what we what we what we found out is one of the animals they said were the most monogamous were the penguins, and then they actually yeah. recorded them in the middle of the night, and they found out no, they like wake up in the middle of the night and they like swap yeah. partners, and there's all kinds of fun stuff going on, and a lot of animals we assumed were monogamous, we found out there's a lot of fun play going on in the middle of the night or at night. So yeah, it, and it doesn't ma like doesn't matter why why would animals b be Jesusy and not do that? You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't make yeah, any no, sense and, and to like, say that they understood monogamy and we yeah. couldn't somehow. Like we don't want to be monogamous. Like... The animals do. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> hey, I, hey, Geo. I think I believe it's um, uh, it's the penguins or the the the. the uh, yeah, I believe it's the penguins that there was actually that pick penguins. a partner that that yep. the, the, the women pick a partner that can take care of the young. Yeah, and, and, and then, then she goes they and go, screws... go look around. Who, who's, yeah. who's the hottest, strongest guy around, and we'll fuck so, them because so... I believe they can actually let um, have sex and then expel mm. well, the. All right, will somebody get rid of that, please, for us? I know some. So, like Brandon, that's, that's a bit no, like real life for us as well. Well, yeah, we because a rich man, the woman, well, not everybody, and we're just use. I'm using an example, really quick. The gold digger will go after the rich man, but she's gonna fuck the pool boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, rich man can take <laughs> they, they can take care of you and your kids, and the pool boy is is hot and strong. The we'll, the, we'll the 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 big dude yeah, with the muscles, and she wants a kid with him, kind of, you know. Yeah. I got support from this dude, but I literally will get, could get, you know, want to get pregnant from the fucking hot guy. Who wants to get pregnant? Like, oh my God. I don't know. I don't understand <laughs> that. But like, there are people that are that way. There are, there are people that that is like their kink and or fetish and slash. Well, it it if, works if, for them for some like... reason. My ex said that my ex was like, if I didn't have to have kids, I would be pregnant constantly. But she's like, having the kids suck balls. But she's like, I love being pregnant. And I'm like, yep. what are you talking yep. about? I understand that. No, I really understand that. I can't understand. Well, sure, I don't know. I mean, I have enough diseases inside of me, but I, I can't <laughs> imagine something growing in me that I can feel and it's kicking it it's around. It's beautiful like, you know, bell like, and the kick of the kid yeah. that and just, i just, couldn't stay sober for nine so months lovely. i'm sorry like you know i i mean yeah, i guess know, if i had to i would but i mean like that's a deal breaker for me i'd be like nope tie up my tubes no, i'm not <laughs> yeah, going no, for that uh, shit. I, I do think i do think like yeah for it's not it's definitely not for everybody but like if you're if you're up for it like yeah you, there is a lot of joy mm -hmm. that comes out of it it is like the family yeah, stretch, stretch marks <laughs> and no slim I, I i i didn't need to get pregnant to get stretch marks wait <laughs> yeah. you know about not stretch TMI. marks holy shit. Mm. yeah i i got them i got fat pretty quick <laughs> anyways let's blow on because once again yeah being a Sorry. male i'm I, <laughs> I can't really discuss this 
because I ha can't go through that. And so, I'm a father, very sorry and I'm trying, topic. and I don't want to offend <laughs> anybody <laughs> because I'm just yeah. joking, but. But I, um, I stood by somebody in that process, so I know a, a bit about it. I oh, have really? had lots of yeah, significant okay. others that were going through it and or have helped and been there through the different phases of children. Uh, but my wife again, I can't I can't it. say <laughs> anymore. Uh, my wife so discovered the... that she was pregnant after six months, so we actually didn't know uh, the whole time. Oh, congrats. Well, that, that was... No, no, I have now a 14 year old daughter, but uh, when she was uh, yes. pregnant, yeah, 14. it was, uh, was uh, when she got I pregnant, 21 year old. more than more than 14 <laughs> years ago, she uh, didn't at least it until at least she it... was already six months pregnant. Oh, wow. Well, at, least, at least it wasn't a, she went to the doctor and ta-da, you have a baby, like, you know, those, those weird... Um, there was actually a 13, in the same stuff. hospital, there was a 13 year old girl. She was only already eight and a half months pregnant. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that girl nice. was only 13. I forgot I was pregnant. Like, how do you not well, notice? Well, I understand being, being under 16 um, or whatever. My, my wife mean? already had a, a really, really uh, uh, offset uh, menstruation time. She was okay. sometimes more than a half year. She was not get any menstruation. For me, and... I didn't find out when I, until I was only two months, and I wouldn't have known for a lot longer if it weren't for the weirdest thing where I really like seafood linguine, and oh. I had one bite of it and instantly felt sick. And luckily, the restaurant was so nice. We were having a meal there for free, and I said, I, I can't eat this, and I explained... And so, like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, I just took a bite, then it's made me feel sick. Like, this is my favorite food. It tastes right, but it's just that joke. And I said, I, like, I think I might be pregnant. Surprise! I was, but like, they still they gave me a different dish for free. They were really nice about it. So I didn't want the chef to think he'd done something wrong. I really didn't. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, and but... I, my my periods, sorry, gross are not the normal 28 days they're like 35 days ish so Which i have a period every month and a half yeah so and I most people aren't ages. constant normal normal either sorry yeah. keep going yeah. no it's like some people have bleeding even though they're pregnant and it's not technically yeah. a period because you don't have periods when you're pregnant but you can have spotting, and that spotting and, yeah. can be heavy enough for you to I have spotting period. for about six months. Yeah, like my that's how people. Born. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's how people so... don't realize they're pregnant. And my, I didn't look pregnant until I was eight and a half months, nine months, right? Because yeah. spawn was very far back. I didn't put on weight when I was pregnant. I didn't get morning sickness. No stretch marks. Any of the like adverse symptoms of pregnancy, I didn't get any of them. Like, I would be a surrogate because of how easy my pregnancy was if it weren't for having to actually give fucking birth and the fact that pregnancy also Dude, kind of made hurts. my medical Giving condition. Birth actually bad. hurts. Like, I was in oof. labor for three days, 15 hours. Holy shit, my one, I was in six hours and just <laughs> okay so let's get to the last subject <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, sorry about um <laughs> it was my fault actually i started it <laughs> no, <it's>, no. <laughs> women will never miss a chance to bitch about being pregnant we won't oh yeah right <laughs> no no but i understand yeah. because uh, my, uh yeah for my wife it was really really weird so uh yeah um, oh, and email. just quickly, Sim, before we, I want to say this, what? for anyone, anyone that ever says too posh to push and belittles you for having a C-section, right? No, fuck them. No. You are still no. a great mum. And also, Sim, I have had to have surgery on my abdomen. It's oh, yeah, my wife is and invasive, yeah. and it hurts yeah, it's to no. move, no. to breathe, to pee. To oh, fart, yeah. to do anything, right? 
You yep. may not get the pain of labour, but yep. you still get pain. And I will wait. Oh. And I will state this: you have pain for much longer than any woman that gives birth naturally. So if anyone says that to you, tell them to go fuck themselves, or you will let them know what it feels like to have a knife in their stomach. <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. And most of the time when so they anyways, do that, it's not a choice, it ha it's, exactly. it has a reason. I, I, I don't want to derail the conversation completely, but I just wanted to state that because that is a lot of things that upsets mums. So I wanted to Let's get, get back yeah. on topic. And that's, yeah. that's why we wanted to go over that and at least get some females' opinions on it. But anyways, so this <laughs> uh, former... Let's get the males' opinions on micro penises. How does it feel to have one, gentlemen? Who's first? Ex ex we, we all know Slim yeah, does, exactly. doesn't have one. Rainless! No, no, just, just <laughs> average dictation. Hi, my name is Slim and they call me that because never mind. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned in Portugal. I, was I learned in Portugal this trying, one. You bastard, are you trying to kill me? I, I'm maybe, sorry. Yeah, maybe I, I you, know. you were drinking until I began the, the, the thing. You... <laughs> So, okay, Tiny, what are we doing? I, I learned in Portugal, I learned this one. Big guy, small dick. Hey. Small guy, big dick. And you know <laughs> all that I, uh, I'm called Tiny Captain because I'm not very long. I'm a short guy. But you so, get it done. <laughs> you, you've had a kid, haven't you? You get it done. No, no, I, <laughs> that means not all of me is small. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. What is? No, wow. I'm, 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 I'm not very high in length. To the bottom. So, anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, so, yeah, so uh, f yeah. former f uh, th this morning's guest, Micro Penis, was jailed over a drug offense. So this gentleman. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. Yes. Where, where is this from? Is this in England? I believe this is in the Americas, but I could, yeah, yeah. The West Mercy, no, the West Mercy police confirmed. West Mercy, this. yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, Are Jack you sure? Davis. Are you uh, sure? Here, here, scroll up a bit. Scroll up a bit. Hereford, this is England. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> You know him? Perfect He's your neighbor? Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Ta Come on. What's happening? <laughs> it's her My name is Brainless Pucci. and I'm crazy. I know him. Frida. What? Oh, no, you know you him? Little sister. You know oh, him? No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. You know about him? I know oh, him. God. You know I you actually know him. him. Plenty of times he has been a drug dealer since he was a teenager. Yeah, because that's okay. That's we what got, he got the inside for. people. <laughs> All <laughs> right, it. Drugs, drugs Woo, are go fire. Fire. Okay. Go we should have started so, with this, anyways. No, you're sure to mess with us. When I told you about the guy that I went out with and his friend that would have me in the car. And I only found out later that he would have me in the car because of my medication in case a drug sniffer dog got brought in and reacted. Yeah. He could say it's just my medication. Here's an explanation for it. And they would leave it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I only found out afterwards that they had me as an accessory for dealing shit pills around uh, Hastings. Okay. What? Yeah, doorknob, you what? did. I, I would not have been okay with that. Like, no, because like, I I am actually kind of quite anti-drug. Like, I I do not think that they are good for people at all. So yeah, that was a head fuck. Yeah. Okay. I have so, to hit up. I'm gonna dip. I love you all. Okay. Take okay. care. I'm I'm nice. being here. Oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Moist. <laughs> Fuck you. Slide out of it. Slide out of here. Sorry. Yeah, doorknob head. Um, nice. uh, 
you, you got to hear miss you missed me mangling up Japanese and Chinese words definitely you can go back and watch it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grab another beer and I'm gonna have Vila read I'm uh, this for I'm, all of you about her so what I'm gonna do it, <laughs> hey, hey guys real quick I'm actually yes. I'm gonna bounce out too I got a stream coming up in just a little hey, while. no 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 he is no Oh, old friend. Old friend. You have to stay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's um, what you meant. I'm, I'm going live with uh, Jello Shots at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. And yeah. I do need to run to town uh, before the stream this evening. So okay. I will see everyone there. And Slim, thanks for having me, bro. I know I was quiet, but you know me. I'll, I'll sit back and listen more, more than anything. So. That's, that's fine. Have, it's you're, it's you're been later. Here it's being here. it's it's been an enlightening evening definitely good uh, <laughs> but i will see everyone tonight so y'all have a good yeah we'll see you yeah, see right, you widows. okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do this and then um mute and uh put full screen and then if vila would be so kind to read this this would be amazing okay oh i can't see it with the uh like share thingy can you move it down a little? I think he's already left. <laughs> oh, okay. Jack Davis, 33, of Hill Acre in... I can't remember where. And some other dudes have been jailed over conspiracy to spy, supply Class A drugs. Davis, who once appeared on ITV's This Morning to open up about living with a micro-penis, was sentenced to five years. Scottford was handed a 30-month sentence. The pair pled guilty to all charges. West Mercia Police confirmed. Davis appeared on the popular daytime show in 2016 to speak on his insecurities about living with a micro-penis. A term used to describe a manhood that is two inches when erect and well below the national average of 5.2 inches. Oh, okay. Alongside two other men, Davis spoke to the presenter Reeve Langsford and Eamon Holmes about having a smaller than average manhood had affected their lives. Presenter Ruth measured... 5.2 inches first before then measuring 3 inches and then 4.2 inches the length of the largest penis belonging to one of the men on the couch yikes he spoke about when he first realized he was smaller than other men at the age of 18 when he used communal changing rooms after playing sport he said in the changing rooms at football all the lads started laughing and taking the mick Nothing too horrible, but banter between lads. I started thinking, am I smaller than everyone else? Davis continued, I never had a problem and no girls have said anything. I never had complaints in the bedroom. I am used to it now and get on with it. Following Davis' sentence, Detective Constable Fiona Morgan said, I welcome the sentence from the court. You recognise that Davis and Scottford are a blight on our community. Yes, micro penises are a blight on our community. Yes, definitely. Drug dealers take advantage of vulnerable people and ruin lives. We are all determined to protect our communities. These sentences show we will prosecute anyone involved in drug supply at any level. We urge anyone with any concerns about drug crime to please get in touch as working alongside our communities is vital to tackling crime. So yeah, they, no matter they actually how used you. So wow. no matter how big or small your penis is, you will get arrested for drugs. Yeah. Is what they what they're saying. Yep. So <laughs> I that was the amazing the most amazing surprise that V1 knew the last person that we were freaking yeah. out. That, that was great. That, that, that I was... know a lot of like I I know a lot of fucked up people. Yeah. I, and, I, I don't uh... try to look them out or anything, but like yeah. No, but like, look, look where you ended yeah. up online <laughs> with the most yeah, fucked yeah. up people in the world. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, um, that was Shaders amazing and fun. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a way to end the stream, though. Let's face it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you actually yeah. saved the best one last by accident. <laughs> yeah. There's and the original. Like, that makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense because he always had a bit of an anger issue. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And yeah. I mean, yeah, if you look at like Chili and actually... yeah, yeah. Um, and then one of the things that I've come to find out um, that I'm going to do a little bit more research on, and then hopefully do a stream about is I found out a lot of serial killers and um, serial rapists were had micro penises. So that makes a lot of sense because if you can't, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're going to get mad and you're going to, you know, do toward, you know, when you have a big one, you're actually like, oh my God, did I hurt you? That's, that's what I have to do half the time, you know, like somebody screams and you're like, oh my God, you know, and they're like, no, 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 keep going. And you're like, okay, I just, whew, I did, thought I punctured your lung or something like that, you know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. So, so this thing though, I want to find out if there's a link between micro penises and hormone levels. Because oh, yes. a lot of people don't seem to get hyper like men with anger issues, you would think, oh, they've got too much testosterone. No, it's because they have too little. Yeah. If you have anger yeah. problems, it might be due to you having low testosterone. And if you get it checked out, you can be helped and that will stop anger problems. So this is where therapy to control yeah. anger problems is not always the case. And it could be chemical. Exactly. It doesn't any less of a man. Like somewhere along be. the way in the womb, your body got a bit wonkified and some receptors weren't done right and you're not making enough. It It's not a big deal uh, no, but you make a different amount I think, uh, you make a different Pl amount so i think planner walk actually did a video about it did he yeah, i've not I, seen I that so, yeah. i um, found out through um no, it, it, what, he was uh, talking uh, about that uh, that somebody actually told him that he had too low uh, uh testosterone and he actually let it test once because uh he knows that he likes to uh, uh well he's he's not gay but he likes to dress up uh, uh in yeah. uh in women clothing and everything, uh, but not uh, really trans satisfied, but half. And yeah. uh, so, and uh, this is why he actually uh, was, was not certain of himself, so he tested himself, and it came out that he actually was high on testosterone. Yeah, so it's just a misbalance yeah. of yeah, yeah. Hormones and I believe there, there's in another body big, big, that caused... big uh, YouTuber that I think most of you guys know. Um, he, he told me that in private, not on a stream, so I'm not going to tell him uh, of tell course. who it is. But, like, but, but he, he has that and getting help for it. So, yeah. yeah. So that will be one thing we're going to be doing on a stream in the near future is we're going to be talking about stuff in the things about the hormones and about some of what we found out currently about um, serial killers and serial raper, uh, grapers and other thingy mabobbers yeah. that do with things like that because I I'm, wonder if it's the hormones because the microbiome yeah, 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 of course yeah. that leads to psychological problems with the anxiety, the anger, the hate. I mean, one of the theories was that um, one of the people suspected of being Jack the Ripper was in fact this man that was a artist yeah. who, during circumcision as a baby, had his dick mangled. Yeah. Oh. And he was very angry and took it out on sex workers, one of which there was this claim that, like, uh, one of the prostitutes was seen mocking him because yeah. she went to grab his dick and was like, oh, where is it? Yeah. So yeah, once I again, heard, heard we're, we're, we're finding out there's more to it through the angerness, yeah. you know, that, that why yeah, these, because... these may have come out a little bit more yeah. and whatever. I mean, uh, once again, just like we do with everything else, we're going to throw ideas out there. And if it works, cool. If you want to believe it, cool. Go do your own research. Look it up. We're just here to just like throw things around and have we're fun. But don't believe anything this Carney says. Yeah, we're split. random people on the internet. If you take what we say, as possible, Minecraft, then yeah. I've got some bad news for you, sweetheart. Yeah. Because uh, the on only in Minecraft disclaimer is uh, 
a good one for now. Remember, <laughs> the 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 mole people are controlling the lizard people that are controlling the government and the oh, cyber. Is that why yeah, they ban mole, va- mole vodka? That's what I just yeah, wanted well, to say, Fila. Well, well, oh. see, I didn't want to tell you this, but it's actually the mole people that are pissing into barrels that they are making the mole yeah. Yeah. Li- liquor out of. So, damn it. Oh, now I'm going to die. Five, four. No, I'm just kidding. No. Press the red button. I accidentally gave it away. God damn it. We're, sorry. Sorry. We're, we're all screwed. Clone you yeah, again yeah. like uh, FTFE. Yeah, exactly. You got to blow me. I mean, um, anyway. Uh, uh, and clone you, uh, blow you up, uh, blow you, and then clone you again. Yeah. 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 Um, don't tell the mole people I said that, and then yeah. we'll be okay. The men in black won't show up to your house, and we'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> and... I promise not to tell. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. There's, there's like only. I, I, I have a fucking uh... video to post. What was it was Harry? Oh, yeah, Harry, that... Harry. Harry noticed that you have a tattoo that shines through. He didn't see the one on your hand yet. Um, see? I have. See, one, I know. I know. I know. I have all over ones that uh, yeah. shine through. Yeah, that's what. You oh, get sorry, it's that one. Yeah. This one does too. Yeah, the one on your hand is really. Oh that yeah, one does. On yeah. I have a handful of them that yeah, the chroma key doesn't work with it. But hey, that's just the glitch in the matrix, and that just proves that we're all a, a hologram inside of our own minds. That's, yeah, that's that wasn't something that he noticed. God damn, I love pretending that like, ah, uh, I can't believe the idiocracy of these people that actually believe some of these things. I'm like, wait, you. Be- it, how does your mind get you to be there? But um, the other thing we're going to do very soon is we're going to talk about how conspiracy theorists are conspiracy theorists. Um, it's the um, tiger in the bush theory. Oh, God. oh yeah. Tiger in the you know what I'm saying? When you hear a rattling in the bush when you're out, you think there may be something dangerous in that bush and you decide to leave. Most of the time, it's probably nothing. But there is that very, very small chance that it is something. And so that's how we're. Your brain can think something is something without proof exactly. And we're going to go over the other um, scientific definitions or whatever of those uh, uh, theories as well. And then debate things. But whatever. Um, Thank you all very much for being here in an. In an hour and a half or something, Widows is going to have his stream. Him yeah. and Jello um, will be on there. I'm in pretty about sure. Eight hours and a half, I will have uh, a premiere of my video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's yeah. there. So everybody uh, go. Now I definitely got to call and on it. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely <laughs> a click on that and do the notify me and everybody just like it now. Um, but go over there and show him some love. Um, I most likely will be on Widow's stream in a couple hours, um, and stuff like, and things, uh, I'm sure all of you are already subscribed to Widow's, so, um, uh, if not, find the way to, to y'all are on our Discord and all that stuff, so there's a way for you to find out. Um, so thank you all very much. Uh, if there's anything anybody wants to promote, go ahead and let us know other than Tiny Captain's having his um, premiere in eight hours. On Saturday, um, I believe it's Purple Rhymes with Orange is going to do a stream, like a, a marathon. People are going to be doing streams uh, all over for, I believe, what was it, for, for three days in a row? TMI is part of that. Oh, uh, Gio is still there. It, if, if, uh, purple does that every year, doesn't she? Yeah, and, and the, yeah, that's what like I heard. That. Like, and and this, this year, uh, TMI yeah. is gonna be part of that. So, I'm gonna be part of that. And Geo, if he's still here. All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I I hanged around last year a bit, but. Uh, uh, anybody else want to promote anything? Um. I am going to try and do a scary story uh, around Christmas time. 
So it's either going to be Christmas Eve or a few days after Christmas. And I'm going to try and get back into actually streaming in the new year. Right, I'm going to really actually try and push myself to do it. Because at the moment I've been, yeah, not doing well. Well, we... Uh, you if you need help. Out yeah. and get on with it. Because it's not going to get better. So I may as well just, like, get on with it. But, but yeah, you, you know, if, if you need help, like, I'm pretty sure all the people here in the panel and probably a couple in the side chat that are willing to help you out. Yeah, we're, I, we're all here for you. I, I don't do good asking for help. No, I help people. I don't get I don't, I don't get help. Vila. I help people. Vila. 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 That we are the you same. <laughs> I think we figured that out today. <laughs> yeah. But, Which, yeah. Thank also, you for getting spawned that game. She was so. Also, fucking oh yeah, that, that that was uh, <laughs> that was so nice. <laughs> also, if you, uh, you helped me once, so I I don't think you even recall it, but you helped me a lot. Oh, I'm really glad I did. That makes you. Me you all, everybody in the community, have helped me and Queen and um, all, a lot of us yeah. to get oh. through a lot of hard times. Um, oh, Sl Slim, you, you had such a hard time with COVID not being able to perform. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, and that was just noticeable. And like when you could perform again, like you you changed so much. You, you, you just, you got so much better. Yeah. Yeah, I was scared for a minute. I didn't know if there was performing was going to be a thing in the future, and that's like yeah. Uh, no, I can imagine because that's your yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I spent so many, so much time to become this, and to think I lost that that quick just. So, once again, thank you all very much. If yeah. anybody needs help at any point in time, you reach out to somebody, and if not. Um, there are phone numbers and there are people that you can reach out to for free. You can just Google yep. um, mental health or contact somebody and there are free people to get a hold of even oh, if you don't have Medicare that... or whatever. Oh, um, yeah, I, I had the website to... that you found out wherever you were. You just typed it in. Yeah. Oh, if somebody yeah, wants, if somebody, if a couple no, of people want to put different things uh, in the side chat before we get out of here, because I am gonna go ahead and end it on with a song, maybe is, just is, so is, that uh, we can. Little Wolf is still here because the swordsman also use uh, all those uh, uh, help uh, functions and uh, help numbers and mm. swordsman. This group is uh, really. Uh, Discord group to to actually uh, yeah let everybody in for help yeah, yeah. yes so what that, we're that's the do... same with the, with the dungeon sorry sorry everybody okay. I yeah. did that premature I premature hit my button anyways it's premature yeah. regulation <laughs> um yes if if anybody want oh. wants to talk okay. if anybody wants He's to talk about one. Awesome, thank and you. It's, it's not just uh, really mental health help. It's it, it's a branch. Sure, it's got abuse and domestic violence, addiction, uh, ADHD, Alzheimer's, autism, bullying, caregiving, eating disorders, mental health, LGBTQ plus, parenting, self harm, teens, veterans. UK has its own section. Suicide prevention. And it has got a list of therapists that you can get help with. But although I cannot speak to whether they're good or not, because yeah. I, 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 I'm not saying use them. Basically, yeah. I don't want you to get ripped and off by things because they're they're, the, they're just an advert. They're, the yeah. the only help number is not uh, what doesn't exist is still for the middle aged white male. Yeah, that's uh, one thing, but... He's always the like... Yeah. Um, oh, fuck, this so, me. So, so, so in, really in quick... In America, uh, the emergency mental health line, I believe, is 899. Or yeah. 889, I cannot remember. They just changed it, and so one, I think it's one, one yeah, of those. Yeah, they just changed it to, like, 899. Crisis, crisis lifeline is 988. Okay. 988, okay. thank, thank you. And there is also a light lifeline chat that's yeah. also on that uh, site that vila just shared so so right. um uh if anybody... on the on the sourceman website uh, of a discord group 
you can fight everything. I know. Thank you. Oh. No, it's saying it's nine eight eight. Nine eight eight. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, anyways, um, it, and if we, if you have any questions outside of with the information we just gave you, come into the Discord, ask a question about something, wherever you'd like, and anybody who is involved in that will push you in the right direction or guide you in the right direction. We also will talk with you if you'd like personally, if we have any information on that to guide you through whatever processes you're going through, whatever you're dealing with. That oh, that's yes. why we're here um, yeah. to help anybody. I'm, if I'm we can't help, we'll it. try and find someone that can because yeah, and we'll, that's why I said we'll guide you. Yeah. Exactly. Everyone needs help sometimes. It doesn't make you a and, bad person for needing help. You, it's nope. not and, a problem. And if you nope. think that you are going through something that some of us haven't dealt with, look what I fucking look like. You think I haven't gone through it? And no. They, they, you're, yeah. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. I think between <laughs> all of us, we have gone through almost everything. The yeah. only things I think we haven't gone through is war-related stuff because like our country but we don't know what it's like to see our country because there's a war going on so you know we can't no. help you there but we can we can find someone to help you but i and we do have in friends in that have gone through that, that yeah kind of what, what did you say i i i my country was not in war but i was with my ship in a country that was in war and bombs fell around me and Oh yeah. wow, but, that must have been so fucking scary. Yeah. So once again, yeah, if... but uh, okay, I survived, and uh, it is. Uh, I wasn't involved in the war, but still. Yeah. Yep. Still scary as fuck. Yeah. Well, see, we we can help. We we between us all, we we can, we can find help. someone to help you talk. Yes, exactly, Tamali. Yeah. So come in, um, uh, hang out with us in. Don't uh, sit, don't don't sit on your nose that much, or else your nose will also be green, uh, Fila. Yeah. So come out, hanging out with us in the Discord <laughs> if you would like to talk about things. Thank you all, um, all of the panel for being here. Um, thank you everybody in the side chat for being here. Um, meet us uh, over and. Uh, widow's stream in a couple hours and other than that um everybody say goodbye and we're gonna get the folk out of here bye, bye all night night people in the world. We both win a war. We win it. The least dangerous with medical value. We all know what happened to Nixon. Nixon's history, but we all know that uh, that uh, he used the demonstrator to, to divert attention from his, uh, his illegal bombing of Cambodia. Look at the context in which these drugs erupted into the culture in the 60s. We were conducting a, uh, a vicious war in Southeast Asia. Where did this policy come from? Unfortunately, I have conducted an inquiry into this, and I have determined that drug prohibition laws came for reasons of racism, empire building, and ignorance. I mean, in Nixon's mind, I think drugs were associated with not liking Nixon. War on drugs. War on War drugs. drugs. Put that line back in your like funny little face like I did. Alright, this is San Julian right here. This is fucking like that. Holy spot, dude. I walk down San Julian and we will get all that. Yeah, dude, you can get the hot skins. Yeah, all that fucking. This tip city right here. Like San Pedro, Grand. All this shit, this is just nothing but drugs. It's just considered a neutral territory to gangs, like all different gangs, Bloods, Crips. Territories like Red Blacks and Mark. Yeah, but you should put that camera down. He's dangerous with that. We all know what happened to Nixon, Nixon's history, but we all know that that he used the demonstrator to to divert attention from his his 
illegal bombing of Cambodia. Look at the context in which these drugs erupted into the culture. In the 60s, we were conducting a, uh, a vicious war in Southeast Asia. Where did this policy come from? Unfortunately, I have conducted an inquiry into this, and I have determined that drug prohibition laws came for reasons of racism, empire building, and ignorance. I mean, in Nixon's mind, I think drugs were associated with not liking Nixon. Back when I was in college, we used to cross the Mexican border to buy pharmaceutical speed. Um, what about uh, the Yes, yes, yes. Blackout, um, um, yeah, psychosis, uh, illusion, and your wrist, things like that. Really? Yeah. Uh, Seeing things, demons and stuff. That's pretty relevant. Very relevant. Yes. Well, you know that is drug related? Is drug related? Former Governor Gary Johnson. Former Governor Gary Johnson. Who's what, he? What, who's what, he? He was the governor of New Mexico. He was the governor of New Mexico. Oh, yeah, that's why he's not the governor. That's why he's not the governor. Well, what, do you, what do you think about him? What do you think would happen? What do you think would happen to America? Well, you know that guy. Well, you know that guy. In fact, if I knew you were going to be on your camera, if I were going to be talking to you. Because that's a defeatist attitude. That's right. New Mexico. That's right. New Mexico. Because he should never have a defeatist attitude. The way I look at it, basically, the way I look is that we have gotten to where we have gotten today, and I think it's because the politicians and drugs have become the easy boogeyman to put all blame. Put all blame. I'm the only politician if you want to call me that. They will tell it like it is. They will tell it like it is. The judge ordered me to go to treatment, and I'm not able to go to treatment. This is where I'm getting this dead. I'm afraid I may I'm afraid I may have drugs and rehab right away. I put them in the first 12 hours of my release. Drugs, 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 if that isn't sick, if that isn't the best definition of sickness in a society, in a culture, in a civilization, I can't tell you what is. He's, he's, he's in custody right now for certainly under the influence of PCP, but certainly for the vandalism. He's also probably for ADW against the police officer because he was throwing glass at the police officers. And once again, you know, completely incoherent and drug induced uh, crime, really. But. So they're experimenting now more. And I believe we will have a whole menu of new drugs. And these drugs will not be regulated because the government has driven <laughs> drugs underground. I got my job description. I found that to be a uh, emerging international narcotics investigations. And I told them, look, you know, we have gathered intelligence that the campus are involved in drugs that have been done in El Salvador. And then he just smiled, shook my hand, and, and walked away from me. And it was then and there that I knew that my government knew that this atrocities were occurring. They were so I remember down in Central America, we were refueling planes full of cocaine coming into the U.S. And uh, it was the CIA uh, operation being run by the White House. You know, and to read the book, it, it, was, it was fascinating for, you know, to find out that I was connected with the CIA and, and all these high-powered people up in the government. The people who are waging the war on drugs have every interest in continuing to do so because especially um, medicines like hallucinogens and I think we all agree in these discussions that what they do is they allow you to change your perspective and to think outside of the box that you're closed into. And that's the last thing that this, this power structure wants, is for you to think outside of the box. In fact, they'd rather make your box smaller. But um, here's an opportunity to have a... Uh... They're not protecting people. They're not protecting society. I can drive stone, I can't drive drunk, but alcohol's legal because I don't know how to make whiskey. Do you know how to make whiskey? It makes me feel better as a physician to know that the medical board sees marijuana as a drug and they are dealing with it as a medication because that's the truth. If, if, if it wouldn't have been money in drugs, I never would have been involved. But for me, it was a way to get out of the ghetto. It was a way to have the American dream.